Hi, my name is Rex. I'm the primary instructor for Bell Speak, which is California's fastest growing, most trusted, and most transparent Bell Education School in the state. Okay, the reason for this video is that Bell Speak is launching its totally renovated online bail enforcement future recovery store we have a lot to cover so i'm going to move very quickly through this video but before i do that i wanted to share something with you that came up and that has to do with these keepers now if you take a look this keeper had actually broke and here is another keeper and what i found is these aren't really leather look at it, it's completely intact but i can tell right there that's a problem i just broke these keepers super strong safety tip make sure you get good solid leather keepers these are what keep your duty belt secured to your pant belt, which is the platform for weapon retention. And that is maintaining your weapon during felony hazard situations. Now you may remember from some of my earlier videos going back 10 years, I would take Kevlar panels and put them in a regular shoulder bag. Well, we're going to be carrying a new and improved version of that shoulder bag. This one's completely updated. Uh, it has a hidden compartment for a firearm. It is big enough to fit a lot of your supplies, but the best part is it has a level 3A panel inside. This is a ballistic protection shoulder bag, but it has one more important function that I use it for when I am bounty hanging on the streets. You take this bag, you put it in your vehicle, in your trunk, someplace where when you take your firearm out, you point your firearm at the shoulder bag. Now, obviously you don't wanna have your laptop and everything like that. When you're clearing your weapon or you're loading your weapon, in case of an accidental discharge, the round hits a level three panel and uh, doesn't go off anywhere to the extent that intent follows the bullet. Round leaves this barrel, you're responsible for where it goes. Let's put it in a Kevlar panel. Another really cool piece of equipment that the Bell Speak store is gonna be offering is consistent with my original level two Kevlar helmet. Now this helmet itself is about 15 years old. We're going to be moving to a three-quarter version level 3A helmet. So it's going to be rated to stop a few more rounds. This is a slick top level 3A helmet. Primarily we're going to be carrying the same helmet with the rails so that you can add accessories to that. For example, this is my personal helmet and the first thing you're going to notice is we have the rails and I've got a light uh, after felony hazard arrest, not during. You don't want a light on while you're walking around some house. Also, you'll notice that I've got my blood type on here, and we'll talk about that a little more as we move forward. And I've got a subdued American flag. Now, the interesting part is, and we're going to talk about these cameras here very shortly, this camera actually mounts to the helmet. So as I wear the helmet, I can actually run video during situations where we're attempting to arrest a wanted felony bail jumper. And the way things are going these days, uh, the Kevlar helmet is gonna be a very, very critical part of high-risk fugitive recovery. Now, one very important thing to realize about these rails on this Kevlar helmet is that you can't just put items on here without an adapter, and that's what these are. Uh, each helmet comes with the option of ordering these adapters. These are Picatinny adapters. Once you put that on, you can slide on uh, just about anything that'll fit a Picatinny rail. Uh, these come with each helmet as an option. Uh, my helmet has these, otherwise I wouldn't be able to put those uh, attachments and accessories on there. Uh, again, this is an adapter for the rail. Without this, it's gonna be very difficult to put anything on this rail. All right, let's talk a little bit more about the drift. Now, this is my preferred 
uh, point of view camera. And there are a lot of reasons why I like this camera. First of all, it is durable. It is built for extreme sports. And unlike some of the less expensive things you're going to find in terms of point of view cameras or body cams, uh, this one can take a beating. Now take a look here and you'll notice that the lens rotates. So it doesn't matter what angle you have the camera, you can adjust the lens for either the body cam, the helmet, or you can take a Picatinny rail and slide this onto your firearm and uh, or your rifle. Let's go a little further on this. And one of the things that I've noticed about a lot of these body cams are blinking lights. This one too has a blinking light depending on what mode it's in, but you can shut that off, which is really, really super cool. You can uh, record in uh, high def, 1080, you could drop it down to 720. But here's another really interesting part is you have a display camera here. So you can actually frame your shot. You're not guessing where the camera's going. Moreover, it's remote control. Uh, you press a button, you're recording. You press a button, you're not. Now here's another interesting thing. You can set this camera so that it's constantly recording, but not really. And then if something happens, you hit the button and you can adjust for how, how much time before, during, and after the event occurs that you're actually recording without jamming up your memory card. This uh, camera comes in two different versions that we're gonna be carrying on the store. The first version is the Ghost S. This is a slightly upgraded version of the same camera. And this is the HD Ghost. Uh, both these items will be available for we'll call it Bell Speak events. They are not uh, shippable from the realbountyhunting.com website. Uh, I like to meet people. I like to make sure they're happy with the products. For that reason, these also will be ordered, uh, I'm gonna say no more than 10 days away from a class. You'll order the stuff, I have it for you at the class, and if I can't do it, somebody from Bell Speak will. Okay, let's talk about accessories for the drift. You'll notice I'm wearing a rig that puts the drift on my shoulder. Really, really super cool. The drift is completely adjustable. Now what you can do is you can download an app to your Android or your iPhone so that you can see what the drift sees. Now you'll remember from an earlier clip that this lens rotates, so it doesn't matter which angle the camera is in. It's sleek, it's dark, the light doesn't blink, highly suggested for bounty hunting work. There are other adapters such as this adhesive mount right here. This allows you to place the camera on various surfaces. We've got another one uh, for curved. This is a curved mount in case you want to place one of these on a helmet, whether you're, maybe you're into cycling or some sort of extreme sport. Very nice to have that. Lastly, there's a Picatinny adapter. So this is one of the adapters that I use to mount this camera on my tactical helmet. Again, all these accessories will be available for the drift camera on the realbountyhunting.com website. Let's talk about raid jackets. You have to be very, very careful that you don't cause the reasonable person to believe that you're law enforcement. Once you do that, you may be committing a crime. I have some examples of some raid jackets behind me. Uh, take a look here, state bail agent. In California specifically, a 1299 compliant future recovery agent is expressly prohibited from confusing a reasonable person into thinking that they have something to do with some governmental agency, and that kind of gives that impression. Over here we have fugitive warrants. Bounty hunters, private citizens, do not serve warrants. All a bounty hunter is doing is enforcing the terms and condition of a private civil contract. Now, with respect to raid jackets, if you go on the internet, they are really, really expensive. They have all kinds of different wording on there. How do you know it's right for your state? Moreover, how do you order something online and then know that it's going to fit? So for that reason, we tried to figure out a way, my R&D department, to say, how can we do this to keep it inexpensive and to make sure the jackets fit? Well, the best solution was you go pick your jacket. You pick what's right for you. You pick what works for you, what color you want, and all we offer are the patches that you can have sewn on or sew them on yourself. For example, one of the back patches that are, is available on the realbountyhand.com website is civil contract enforcement agent. Bail is a private civil contract and the surety appoints a bail agent. The bail agent may then empower any person of suitable age in California, uh, jumping up to 18 if you're looking at 1299, to go out and apprehend a bail fugitive. So here we have agent. This language, agent, is all over the place. It's in published case sites. Uh, you will see agent 
in most places with respect to deep research into bounty hunting and its history. Now, if this is a little too bright, we have a subdued version of the same exact patch. This is tactical subdued agent civil contract enforcement. If you think about it, what are you doing? You're going out there and you're enforcing a civil uh, private contract. Now, in conjunction with that, rather than have really super expensive or cheap badges, here's a subdued badge that also says civil contract enforcement agent. It goes with the subdued back patch. Don't like that? We got the color version. Put it right there, you got it in color, and it says exactly what you're doing. You're not, infuse, you're not confusing the public. Now, also, for some of you who are a little more traditional, we're gonna be carrying the atypical circular future recovery badge. This is good for some states, not all states. Do your own research, check your own laws. Now, also critically, critically important, you may have noticed this on my tactical helmet. I'm gonna encourage each and every one of you out there bounty hunting to pick up a tab with your blood type. It'll save time. Put it on your tack vest, put it on your helmet, sew it to the back of your boot, put it on your body armor somewhere. Uh, my blood type is O positive. Uh, you can go and see your doctor, have your blood drawn, get your blood type. I believe if you donate blood, you can request your blood type, but just make sure you're getting the right patch for your blood type. And again, these will be available on the realbounding.com website. Now, without fail, you're going to encounter dogs while you're bounty hunting. Now, you're gonna to have to go over fences, you're gonna to have to knock on doors. Uh, that's how you catch bell fugitives. Now, one of the ways that I have bypassed dogs is with an old fashioned stun gun. Now, you don't stun the dogs, what it is, it is that arcing sound, it's the light, it tends to intimidate dogs. In all my years of bounty hunting, I've encountered one dog who was not impressed by this or my pepper spray. Again, this isn't a stun anybody. This isn't two stun dogs. It's just to make noise and light so that the dogs disperse. You can get uh, to your front door, make your knock, do your talk, and apprehend your bell jumper. Now, no bounty hunting kit is complete without good flashlights. For example, I've been carrying for years. Uh, this is an SL20X. Uh, it's just about at the end of its life. I'm getting ready to replace it. And my first choice on that is going to be another Streamlight SL20X LED. Now this is a brand new one. We're going to be carrying these on the Bell Speak store as well. Now these are being um, upstaged by another upgraded version of this flashlight. Now I'm going to go ahead and encourage you guys to seriously consider uh, what, uh, the Streamlight, particularly the SL series. These things are so bright, you would not believe it. I mean, uh, you can blind somebody with these temporarily in a dark house, but be careful. You don't want to shine it up against like a white closet door because you'll get the reflection. It'll, it'll destroy your night vision. Uh, this is a very, very handy piece of equipment. I know a lot of people like to carry the smaller flashlights. I am old school. You cannot go wrong with one of these. Now, I also carry a backup flashlight. This happens to be a 511 flashlight and it is extremely bright. But we're probably going to be switching to Streamlight for the purposes of the Bell Speak store. I'm a big Streamlight fan. For my personal use, I carry another Streamlight. Uh, this Streamlight right here also has the strobe feature, and you hit it three times, and it goes dim, so it's not so bright. So you got the bright, you got the strobe, and then you got the not so bright. This is my personal flashlight I carry with me at all times. Uh, I was actually at a hotel. Uh, for a bell class and the power went out completely and utterly the place was pitch black just so happened to have a flashlight on me now just because it's daylight doesn't mean you're not going to need a flashlight i carry a flashlight of this size it doesn't matter what time of day it is or where i'm going i always have one of these on me while i'm bounty hunting let's talk about taser cews a lot of you may be familiar with the old m18 m26 this is a at the end of life it's being discontinued so we may be able to carry these in a store, but they're gonna be really hard to get here pretty soon. Plus the technology on these is really outdated. Many of you may be familiar with the X26. Uh, this is the X26 that is also at the end of life. Taser will be discontinuing this and they're gonna be moving to the X26P. Now, what I carry personally is the X2. This is a semi-auto Taser CEW. It comes equipped with a high def camera and sound. This is for liability protection. And we will be working 
to get these to licensed bail agents or licensed private investigators. The key word when it comes to the Taser CEWs is license. So if you have a bail agent's license or a private investigator's license, uh, we can get you the law enforcement version of these. But again, these are controlled items, will call only, and you must order 10 days or more away from a class in order to pick up your controlled items such as Kevlar helmets or Taser CEWs prior to arriving at class. One of the things I am really personally excited about is that Bellspeak is gonna be offering a tactical medicine course for bounty hunters. Now, one of the products that the new store is gonna be carrying is a thigh rig, which is a blowout kit for bounty hunters. The equipment in the thigh rig will be listed on the website as far as an itemization of the parts that are in the kit. Now, this kit will be available by mail It'll also be available uh, via will call at any Bell Speed class throughout the state. Now we have a second blowout kit. This one will be will call only and it'll be uh, consistent and added to the class taught by a paramedic uh, firefighter who's trained uh, as an EMT and is certified to teach all these classes. This is a critical part of future recovery that's been very, very overlooked in the California bail bond industry. I would like to very much thank you for taking a few moments to watch this video regarding the renovated 2014 Bellspeak online store with the will call capabilities of the school. Bellspeak, as I indicated, is a California Department of Insurance approved bail education provider offering 20 hour bail and pre licensing, continuing education, etc., etc., etc. Classes are held from Sacramento to San Diego and everywhere in between. They range from twice to three times a month. Uh, classes are held in Sacramento, private classes in Roseville, Modesto, San Jose, Los Angeles County area, uh, Riverside, again, San Diego. We are looking at Bakersfield and some other areas. If you are wishing to have a private class, contact the Bellspeak office. Realboundingland.com is a subsidiary of the Bellspeak Bell Education School. Oh, and one other thing, go home safely, to get paid safely. You guys be safe.